So Bitcoin is down about 40% off of its all time high, but at the same time, it's exactly where it was a year ago. And so what that means that is that on net, 2021 was a year of consolidation around price for Bitcoin. Elise, we've seen some very wild expectations around Bitcoin that it could go south. Some are still calling zero. Others are saying 100,000 by year end. But short term, what are your expectations? Because we still don't feel like we've settled down on the yield. And there is a feeling that if the yield picks up again on interest rate expectations, we could see a slide in Bitcoin below 40,000. Is that a possibility in your view? Short term expectations are hard here, but it's notable that in this most recent downturn, there was a lack, there was muted liquidations of leveraged positions and open interest remained high, which means that there was the condition for a continued downturn. That's not necessarily what we'll see. It's not necessarily what we expect, but the conditions exist for that to be true. Most notable though, I think is that the market remains very bullish and insiders remain very bullish about the underlying technology. And of course, Bitcoin, the asset, has historically seen price increase as adoption increased. And looking forward to 2022, we expect to see adoption continue its rapid ascent. At least the, the thing that puzzles me is, is whether um, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are a hedge against declines in equities and other more traditional assets? Because it seems to me we've only really understood the evolution of Bitcoin in an environment where inflation has been low or falling and central banks have been easing monetary conditions. So there's been lots of liquidity. Um, as we see those conditions change, what ultimately happens to these cryptocurrencies? Are they a hedge or do they go down alongside everything else? Well, so I think first it's important to distinguish Bitcoin from other cryptocurrencies. So they're categorically different. Now, Bitcoin has had 10 years of establishing itself as a store value and a relatively good hedge against a, a multitude of conditions and other assets. Now, what happened in 2021 is that Bitcoin developed, showed further development beyond store of value to being um, a method of transaction, which doesn't necessarily, um, you know, buttress the price or, um, you know, create increased uh, buy pressure. And so I think that in 2022, we see much of the same, Bitcoin continuing to develop as um, a method of transaction, but that will be further accompanied with advanced adoption. So in 2021, El Salvador was the first country to adopt Bitcoin as a legal tender. In 2022, we may see more of that leading to greater adoption, and that may perhaps um, put upward pressure on the price. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.